I got my two buddies from Pennsylvania. Well, one's my uncle, but I got my <laughs> uncle Brian and Andy. They actually came out here uh, to bow hunt this year. They were both fortunate to uh, harvest uh, nice bucks here in Iowa. So they, they loved Iowa so much, they wanted to come back out and do some shed hunting. It's a beautiful day out today. What do you guys have to say? You guys ready to go? Go PA. We've go been PA. up for an hour waiting on you, buddy. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice West Virginia hat. I'm sure my dad will love that. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're on the second farm today. This farm is 60 acres total. 40 acres are field. 20 acres is a nice creek bottom that runs down here, but it has a top to it. It's about six or seven acres. But it's absolutely amazing deer bedding. And I've walked it for the past three years and only found one old shed the very first year I walked it. But every year I come in here thinking that there's got to be a shed and especially with this hard winter there's no reason that there shouldn't be one in here i mean i can't picture a better spot for a shed i was just talking to the camera how i haven't found a shed here and there should be a shed look at that i don't know how that even got in there now we need to find his other side that's a good one let's hope that this is like the other cases where deer are just in bunches but oh look at that guy <laughs> that's going to be an absolute pig next year there's a bunch of sign in here there's a lot of sign. I was just talking to the camera saying how I can't believe that there's a, not a shed. That's sick. What is that? I don't know. I didn't run cameras on this farm this year. I need to run cameras next year because that actually is probably off a hey. younger deer. Oh. This is what we need. Find these. I can't believe that. I did not expect anything like that. I was just hoping to find one fresh That's shed. That's a young deer. Yeah, it definitely can be. I mean, everything's been in bunches. Andy just got one. And, uh, this is what we've seen a lot of places this year is that a lot of the sheds are very close to one another and just it's crazy how i was just saying i have not found a fresh shed on this farm and we've already gotten two now you gotta love those guys though. count there right that definitely counts absolutely yeah. see that's what happens when we bring the pa guys out there to find the, the whole PA. way to iowa to find a iowa mm. horn and this is what we get well you guys got the pa eyes <laughs> you guys know how to look for pa sheds <laughs> All right, this is pretty neat. I've never seen anything like this. This looked so like, I knew this wasn't a shed, but it looked so much like an antler from where I was standing. Like it's eight feet in the air. And I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but that branch right there looks so much. It almost had me wondering how a shed could get up that high. Well, we just got to the fourth farm today and we're actually out with our, uh, our buddy Jordan and uh, his friend Colton and Ridgely. Ridgely. So we uh, just started, we just parked the trucks right there. I mean, we're not even 30 yards from the truck. And uh, Mr. Jordan here has already shown us up and uh, found the first shot of the day. So, Oh, that's a good one. She's been there for a bit. Wow. That's a, that's a sock. That's a toad. Wow, I didn't think it was that big seeing it in the grass. Holy cow. Nice find. Now where's the other side at? Well, just got my first one on this new farm. I don't know much about this farm. I'm here with my buddy. And uh, haven't been here too long off the top of this food plot here. And, you know, you wish you'd find that when it was actually intact, but it still goes with the count. And, and uh, you got to... Gotta love every shed you find, so we're gonna keep moving. Well, I was just coming down this uh, top right here and came down to this wet bottom. Highway is 100 yards from me right here. You can't really see it, but if a car drove by, you could see it, and I uh, walked up on this guy. Dude was an absolute fighter, broke his main beam. You know, that's gonna be our number one hitless buck next year. Well, we're still scouring this wet bottom here, and uh, Andy just found a nice five point. So we were looking around, looking at the other side. I came up on this guy. This year's pretty cool. Hot spot. Sweet. Three sheds down here. All right, PA boys got some. Back in the game. Nice. We know how to see the small ones. Yeah. <laughs> Bull crap! I just found I just found a monster over there. A monster PA buck. Look at that. Nice guys. Nice. Nope. Different deer. Different deer. Gotta love to see that. Yeah. Means there's two more out there to find. <laughs> well, I was just coming up this hilltop right here. Coming down that path. Came up on an old one right here. 
damn it had been nice to see that when it wasn't chewed but it's another one to the count you gotta love finding old sheds you gotta love it because that means that somebody else isn't hitting this farm that hard so um, we're making the most of it squirrels aren't gonna like it but i'm taking it we were back on our way back to the truck and then we realized nobody nobody had walked around the edge of this field and i was like all right well if nobody's walking around the edge of it i'll, I'll, I'll do that and then I came up right here along the edge of this field and I almost walked by this soccer laying in the grass. This is this is crazy that nobody wanted to shed hunt this and that there's all these old antlers. I can't believe that. That's so I don't know. I'm not gonna complain. I'm I'm happy we were able to find them. So really, really cool. Really cool. I can't count all these, but uh, we had one hell of a haul right here. Good job, guys. Um, on to the next, next on to the next farm, but I don't know if any other farm's gonna top this. A lot of old ones, surprisingly. I would be willing to bet actually we found more old ones than we did uh, fresh ones, but you gotta love that, so. What do you think, on to the next? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's come up this field edge. With Jordan, Jordan's right down there. We're zigzagging this this uh, side of the creek, and there goes a deer right there. And it's nice and thick. And actually, I was kind of surprised we hadn't found one yet. And well, right when I was starting to think that, walked up on one. So can't complain. Another one down. We got to be getting really close to a hundred. I I need to fit. I I just don't know where where I'm at right now, and I need to figure out what the count is. But there's. We are probably in the 90s at this point, or if not, really close. Nice, nice scrape right here. And uh, boy, it's starting to make a nice rub right there. Pretty cool. That's a very fun day. What's up, All right, man? this morning is Sunday, March 14th. And today I'm actually going out to shed hunt what I think is gonna be the best property of the year. And the only problem is the landowner is very strict about who else has permission to shed hunt it. So I can't take the guys from Pennsylvania, but I, this property is just so worth it that they're gonna go hit something else today with my dad. And I'm gonna go hit this and we'll see what, uh, what happens. But I do anticipate it being a really good day. The only bad thing is I feel like crap today. So we'll see what happens. I've been in here about 45 minutes walking really good stuff and uh, just came up on the first shed right here last year's it's a good sign means that people aren't hitting this that hard so second one of the day right here gosh that was probably a good shed too surprised we haven't found a fresh one yet Well, I just came up on the third one of the day. This one's actually really hard to see. And uh, definitely from this year. Look at how the squirrels chewed that. That is nuts. The hell. Worm and a leech, but look how those squirrels chewed that. That's just sad. If we keep up this rate, we're gonna be at 100 by the end of the day. Well, it's been about 45 minutes since I found the last shed, and I actually was walking right down this path right here and completely missed that one. Lucky I got this one. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a good buck. Gotta find this other side. This stood out like a sore thumb this time so there's the fifth one of the day I don't know how old that would have been but that is a cool find look at that brow tine that is gnarly look at that Whew. another one down another one bites dusty what's crazy is this deer isn't even chewed that bad and he's in the open timber. We were walking some cedar, uh, cedar thickets earlier. 
those those antlers were treated more than me, this one is so it's kind of opposite of what i thought pretty cool though well it's coming down the path out of this open timber right here starting to get more into the thick stuff i was thinking it was going to start getting good you know and uh Walked up, I could see that one from a good ways away, and I looked down, and that one was right there. Absolute monster match set. So that is number seven on the day, right here. And number eight on the day, right there. Kind of a cool buck. Ooh. I wonder if that's a match set. I mean, you would think so with how close they were together, but I don't know. It's weird how this one has like quite a bit different coloring than this one. But uh, so regardless if it is or it isn't a match set, it's two sheds. I'm pumped with it. Both. On the south face slope. And that's the number nine shed for today. Possibly number 100 on the year. Doesn't get much better than that. I did hit this property early in the year. There was a lot of snow. So I decided to back out. I did find a few. But I knew I had to come back because of all the deer sign. And I, you know, saved, saving one of the best for last. Or the best for one of the last properties to walk. And we're already at 9 on the day and it's not even noon. That's awesome. Got another one right here, little guy. Still haven't found the king in this area, but we got a lot of time left, and with the results we're having now, I don't think it'll be long before we do. I just came out of the cedar thicket right here. I found the other shed just about 10 yards to my right, and I was just getting ready to start walking again. I looked over and saw this one. So there's another one. Do they count? We definitely have to of eclipsed 100 here this is awesome i'm having one hell of a day this might end up being my best day ever if, if uh, these results keep up An old one right here i love this property first time first year getting the chance to shed hunt it and you gotta love finding all these old sheds all right just got back to the truck i was gonna shed some clothes and then um head back out so it's been a good great day absolutely great day so far we're definitely we definitely have eclipsed 100 we got about five hours left to look i don't know if i'll be able to handle five hours my, my legs have already started cramping on me but i'm gonna try to make the most of it um there's still quite a bit left to hit on this farm it's just i've already hit the good spots so now it's just kind of hitting the less likely spots. Right. just when i thought the well was running dry um we've been we've been going for about two hours now we are hitting the less likely less concentrated areas but it's still a really good area nonetheless i came up on this one and the other one actually i saw first but the other one's right over there so nice match set right here cool five point and there's the other side look at that gotta love that another two to the one of the best days I've ever had, if not the best day I've ever had. So we're in the hundreds now and uh, don't know exactly where we're at, but we're going to keep moving. we still got some daylight left. All right, so here we are. I got snagged by a briar. And when I was moving around it, I turned, found this little old guy. Ain't much of nothing but it still counts definitely a shed so all right that's sweet now i come walking down this path like nothing 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 and then all of a sudden i catch it out of the corner of my eye right there it's the second time today that i've almost walked by one wonder how many i actually have walked by i keep moving though Well, I was making my way up through the open timber to go to a spot that I want to check here at the end of the day. I'm whooped. 
and I was working my way through and uh, found an old one. Look at that. Look at that. What the heck is going on with him? Look at that. That is cool, cool, cool. I can't really explain it, but it, like it's like it, it's neck down at his base and then it like widens out. You can see that right there. I haven't seen anything like that before. That's a weird deer. That's gnarly. 40 yards where well, we just found the other one. I can see another shed on the south facing slope in the open timber. I bet you that's the match side. Oh no, it can't be the match side because they're... What the heck? Look at that. I thought it was the match side of the one I just found. Because it's not that far from where I just found the other old one. But it can't be because... There's match sides right there. Let's take a look at that. Nice buff. Yeah. Nice deer right there. Pretty cool stuff going on right there. I might have film with this buck from like three years ago, and this might be his sheds from that year. There's a buck that was very similar to this. He was wide on the head. Nice mass at the base, but he just had shorter tines. And he gave me multiple shot opportunities throughout the year, especially during the rut. But either way, three sheds right there, just like that. All oldies on this south facing slope in the open timber. All right, about to head to the second property of the day. I uh, just had this, just had to stop back at the camp and uh, taking the flat tire that I got earlier today. Back in here. But we only have a few farms left to look. I've saved some of the best for last and see what happens here. We're out shed hunting a farm. I just got permission to shed hunt this year. I got my uncle, my uncle's friend Andy, and uh, my dad with me. I'm gonna see what this property has to offer. It doesn't have a lot of thermal cover, but we're already at one of the spots where it actually does have some. Um, you can see the cedars here. Um, it's supposed to rain today. It's kind of nasty out today. And uh, had a great day yesterday, but we'll see what today has to offer. Wow, look at this. Been walking some good stuff here. We're about to come up to the CRP field and uh, dad just walked up on the first one. We were both right next to each other. Are you kidding me? No, look. Holy cow. Look at that thing. And then there's a second one right there next to it. What the hell? No, it can't be. They're both the same side. That's a tank too. I just found a big one. Yeah, that's, that's what you want to call it. Pick that thing up. Let's take a look at that one. That's a big one. Starting to chew on it. That's a nice one. Wow. Six. That'll be a good one to see next year. And then the other one <laughs> is not, nothing to shake a stick at, but it just doesn't compare. How do they drop them that close to each other? There's not even any reason they probably need to check the bank. And that field. Well, look at that. I, th I thought it was a match set laying there. Really? They're two different. Great. Awesome. Awesome. I've never seen an antler that tall. How it comes straight off the base. That would have sat really high on that deer's head. I'd really like to find his other side. Wow. This is a great weekend. So, there's a shed up on this bank right here. And, uh... There's also a dead head with a shedded antler. So I think this one right here is to this dead buck right here. And it most definitely is right there. Yeah, looks like it from here. But hey, you don't need a salvage tag for that. Good fine. <laughs> I hope you didn't get that on camera. <laughs> we'll pretend you caught it. I'll, I'll cut it. <laughs> no, make sure you leave it. I'm, I'm going to leave it for sure. <laughs> I just find a second basement. So now we're working this creek bottom trying to find the other side of the big one. Then.
Got a flat tire this weekend, but also managed to eclipse 100 sheds. Had an absolutely awesome weekend. Uh, definitely one for the books. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please make sure to like, uh, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified when more videos come out. But regardless, it was a great weekend. You know, we got work this week as usual, but this was a great, great weekend and one that's going to be really hard to top. So on to the next.